Hello everybody, welcome to the final claw before Wrestlemania. I'm Jimmy Ventura and with me is Gorilla Mezzo. Good evening everyone. Monday Night Claw is live in Omaha, Nebraska tonight. And we are just two stops away from Wrestlemania. That's right, the road to Wrestlemania coming to its epic conclusion this Sunday at... 8 p.m. UTC. Had to think about that for just a minute. <laughs> and folks, I am uh, I have been told that we're about to hear a whole lot more about what's in store this weekend from the big boss herself, Teresa Mame in the house. And she is. Oh, God, her face is hideous. I mean, <laughs> oh, I said that on a live mic. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Here she comes right now coming out to ringside to let us know. What to expect this weekend for WrestleMania should be a wonderful time. Jimmy Ventura, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you very much, Gorilla. Can't wait to hear from the big boss woman. I bet you can, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. And here we go. Let's, let's uh, get a mic in Teresa's hand and see what she's got for us. <laughs> gotta say she really has cracked down the law and order gm really running the show properly now and here we go what's Teresa mam got for us tonight good day jfw universe we are now less than a week away from the greatest day in professional wrestling, JFW's WrestleMania. And while we spent a lot of time talking about the world title match, we have a huge main event in store as well. And I don't just say huge because the EAB champion is massive, but because that main event will be a 20 minute Iron Man match. Rick Reckless versus EAB for 20 Whole minutes. And tonight, we will test the theory that the JFW truly is stronger together or not, as EAB and Rick will team up in the main event against Six Feet Down Under. And finally, WrestleMania is too big for just one night, so we're going to take the entire weekend. Tune in on Saturday, 8 p.m. UTC for a special undercard as part of the WrestleMania weekend extravaganza. Headlining the Saturday show will be a very spent, very special Gyms of the Ring Memorial Rumble, a 20-man Royal Rumble featuring many top JFW wrestlers, including the following eight men in tonight's opener, an over-the-top battle royale. So I must say, JFW Universe, it's looking rather spiffing, and let's get straight to it. See ya! Oh, baby, a whole weekend of WrestleMania. You've never seen that before, folks, and anyone who thinks they can do a two-night WrestleMania this coming weekend is a fraud, and they're stealing our gimmick. <laughs> That's for damn sure. I'm looking Absolutely. forward to a wild weekend of action as much as I'm looking forward to this eight-man over-the-top battle royale coming up next. We don't know who's going to be in it, but we do know that the men competing tonight will also be in that Gyms of the Ring Rumble. Uh, I obviously am in memoriam of our fallen uh, 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 CEO and president, Mr. Jim McMahon. We will be having a very special 20-man Royal Rumble that will headline the Saturday show this Saturday starting at 4 p.m. UTC. Glorious. 8, 8 p.m. UTC. Yes, sorry, 8 p.m. UTC, 4 p.m. normal person time. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> oh, I'll... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll... You, you got bigger things to worry about. I hope you're ready to do some fucking training for Sunday, because I certainly fucking am. <laughs> oh, 
Cheers, Ducky. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. All right, eight-man battle royale. Hopefully, we are skipping the entrances, or this will take up the entire fucking show. <laughs> we are indeed. Getting Here straight to ringside. Go. Let's see who is going to be uh, in this rumble tonight. And look at that crowd of people. We got k Fogg and Scaramezzo. Who else do you even need? You got former champions Flicky Flack going right after Try. Otter Oil's in there. <laughs> <laughs> former champion it's off the Kellis. And then Squirrel, who's also a former champion, held the Wemdope Championship. No, he didn't. He held nothing. <laughs> Never mind. And he once got advice from Jimmy on playing Blood Bowl. That was more than don't play Blood Bowl. And Kiwi Nutsack Attack. What a field. And this is only 8 out of 20, so we got 12 unknowns that we'll find out about on Sunday. Should be wild. Absolutely glorious. Ooh, O'Don dumped the ropes there, hanging on for dear life. Looks like he's going to get back in. Squirrel, the same problem. Predicament over there. Bigger man trying to push him out. He's still back in. And uh, k Folk and Scurro. k Folk just stomping a mud hole. And Scurro, whoop, <laughs> over the top goes Kiwi. He Whoa. hangs on, though. Ooh. Oh, teetering! And yes, he's in! Whoa. Oh, there goes Try! Flicky Fleck with the big lariat to eliminate... Oh, oh, Flicky was confused there. Look at the power from Flicky here. Unbelievable. Flicky's probably got a fuse lit under his after. Oh, you're cutting out, I think, Gorilla. You're cutting out. Oh no, problems, technical difficulties. I do apologize. Test, test, test. Can yeah. people hear me at all? Yeah, you can hear it now, but it's, it's coming up green and you're cutting out. I don't know why. Sometimes. Oh, weird. Uh, I mean, I'm talking. I don't know if it's uh, coming through or not. I'm talking. <laughs> I, <laughs> Some of it I can hear you on the stream. I can hear myself on the stream. Yeah, just sometimes not. Anyway, let's carry on. <laughs> anyway. Someone got eliminated it's then. The I don't know who. Whee! k -Fog's out. Yep. Oh, there he goes. Watching on a delay by accident. Oh, look out, squirrel dude. Oh. Oh, hangs him up in the ropes, but he bounces back in. Otter oil in some trouble here, too. Oh, don't looking like he wants to do the Odonta bomb. That's not going to eliminate yep. anyone. Oh, Squirrel in some trouble here. Squirrel hooking his leg. <laughs> he just got frustrated. It's just not possible to eliminate people. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and Squirrel able to get out. It's completely meaningless. But it's a uh, nice, nice match to start things off on Monday Night Claw. Yeah. Yeah, this is a bit weird. I don't know what's happening, but... <laughs> <laughs> Otter Oil's still in here. This is pretty good when he doesn't actually have to yeah. kick out of pins. <laughs> oh, yeah, Otter Oil. Oil. <laughs> That looked brutal. Can't feel too bad to eliminated by Scott, though. He has won. Rumble before. He has, yeah. Just about. Just about heard that sentence. <laughs> and uh, big move by Squirrel there. Oh, Squirrel sending him the wrong way. That's not what he needs to do. Huge lariat from Skuro. Oh, I think... Oh, no, he's not. I thought he had... Whoa, what a move by Skuro. Holy shit. That was phenomenal. Looking uh, pretty dominant. Hello. <laughs> it went, it's, like, muffled and weird. Really? Yeah. All right, give me a sec. Oh, big, big power bomb from Squirrel somehow. Squirrel 
Squirrel loving it. All right, how about now? Same That's, thing? That sounds perfect. Okay, weird. Hmm. Don't know what happened. Maybe a, maybe, yeah, maybe a mic plug came loose or something. Yeah, maybe. All right. Oof. Well. <laughs> oh, oh, you go the wrong way there, squirrel dude. Should have just pushed him right over the top. Yeah. But what a field in the final three of this battle royale. Absolutely, yeah. Squirrel and two furries. He's going to be raging. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a little breather there. He's waiting to be uh, in the top two, I guess. Yeah, oh, look out, sense. squirrel. Squirrel in some trouble here. Oh, this yeah, is it. I think that's it for a squirrel, dude. Oh, he, no, he hangs on. And Odon did not follow through there to try and keep him out. Squirrel getting to his feet now. Oh, this might cost This might cost the daunt. Oof. Look at that. Knee to the back of the head. Now Squirrel sent into the corner. Oh, no, he's able to fight his way out. Squirrel. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> With a big flex. Yeah, we're not going to put... Oh, Squirrel, Squirrel, Squirrel might have Squirrel Dude here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I bomb. think that's going to do it for Squirrel Dude. Powerbomb outside the ring. Good night, Squirrel Dude. <laughs> Just like an SFL playoff game. <laughs> oh, boy. And now it's down to two. Also, uh, in the pre-JFW days, Odont was the most feared Royal Rumble competitor back when Rumbles actually worked for us. Yeah, he was, yeah. Oof. Yeah, they were. Oh, God, imagine if they just worked and we could just do, like, 30-man Rumbles, like... Every week, just run. Well, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you. After hacking, after doing that little hack to the game, mine. I haven't run one to record yet, but uh, the the test one I ran ran on full full graphics. Oh wow! Squirrel's oh, and good. look at this! It's the <laughs> it's what the people wanted to see. Scaramezzo with the big win. Definitely not pre-recorded either. Hundred percent <laughs> not pre-recorded. Skuro, wouldn't that be something if the guy who formed a separatist uh, promotion was the one to win the Jim's Memorial Battle Royale? Had a feud with Jim's, lost the match for control against Jim's. Yeah, and he's coming on Saturday night, folks, to the Jim's Memorial, Jim's of the Ring Memorial Rumble. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> glorious. What a performance. Absolutely. <laughs> Look out, JFW Field Skuro, looking to make a big moment happen at WrestleMania. Saturday, 8 p.m. UTC. Sunday, 8 p.m. UTC. Just don't make any plans this weekend, folks. Yeah. And next up, folks, you know what our tag our tag match is at WrestleMania. It's going to be Doss Hats trying to become four-time tag team champions against the current reigning champs, Breaking Storm. Here's one half of them. We're going to get both halves in back-to-back -back matches here. Matt Storm versus Oriolensis is up next. Yeah, this is interesting, isn't it? The two halves. We've got the two both halves tonight. We've got Matt Stone versus Aurelensis and Breaking Dad versus um, Lean Gary. Can't do his voice, but he's got a great voice. <laughs> <laughs> three sure time, does. three time, three time tag team champion. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, JFW <laughs> Universe. That's Lean really Gary <laughs> here. It's <laughs> really good. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh no, he doesn't have his own entrance. No, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, you can see he's treated with the champion's respect around these parts. <laughs> it's just a funny accent to watch a German dude trying to do a cowboy who's also being like a goofy wrestler. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Kind of comes out sounding like a Muppet, but a Muppet that we love, and I don't mean Pac-Man. 
<laughs> Not that murderous Pac-Man bastard. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> It was great though. I voted him off. There was like there'd been five kills. There was no sus on anyone. It's like it's Muppet. It's got to be. <laughs> Speaking of, we do not have word yet on what our Plim Plum Pluser weight match will be. All we know, title vacated by Theresa May based on Muppet Pac-Man's actions last week. He will not be contending for that title again, as he will be with his brethren in, in the Unnatural Snackers taking on six feet down under with that world title hanging in the balance. But yeah, back, baby. here we go. <laughs> the country wizard <laughs> about to summon his hat. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's really damn weird, straight. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, damn straight, Dave. <laughs> the actors, however, were not. <laughs> He summons his hat. He summons his hat, Bizzle. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive. It's symbolic of him being part of Das Hats, even though he's missing half of himself. Yeah. <laughs> half of his team. And he also summons his robe as well, so there you go. <laughs> It'd be better if he did that and they did the bezel walk and he was naked. <laughs> That'd be incredible. Holy shit. That'd be so good. <laughs> oh dear. Well, here we go. All right. One on one action Country Wizard versus Matt Storm. Well done, Gorilla. A lot of red in the ring right now, and wow, Oriolensis not holding back, beating off this 14-year-old. I met up. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, this one's not going on YouTube. <laughs> Oh, well, he's holding his own now. Matt Storm fighting back. Yeah, Matt Storm probably trained in the uh, in the Calcium Dojo. No stranger <laughs> to fighting creepy old men. <laughs> yep. Oof. Sucked him in the jaw. This is a very, uh, very uh, unique set of... Uh, set of... Uh, moves uh, or move sets in the ring right now of course you got the high flyer in uh, matt storm and oriolensis is more of just a kind of punchy kicky make it through the match kind of guy <laughs> yep blast from the late 80s absolutely yeah reminds me of ted DiBiase back in the 1980s <laughs> 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 oh, look at that, though. Punch the noogie punch to the kid, and now the pin. Just a one count. All right. This reminds me of World <laughs> having a Class. Sit. Back in the <laughs> 1980s. That was a terrible idea. Oh, sit down. that was a bad idea, Oriolensis. <laughs> Arm drag takes him down. What's the ref yelling at there? God knows. Two count, and look at that, the high flyer. Might have stunned the old man here. Oriolensis is at his best when he can do quick tags with Lean Gary. Kind of utilize their uh, very, very different uh, combat styles. And he does not do a lot of singles matches. And look at this. Kid's going to fly. Wants him up. Maybe a flying cross body here. Yeah. Oh, he flattens him like a pancake in the pin. That could be it. No, mm. two cow kick out. Oriolens is still in this one. Oh boy, he looks spent. Oh, he's gonna fly again. Look at this. Watch this kid go. <laughs> this might be his first and only singles match, to be completely <laughs> honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and he drives that fist right into the forehead. Shocking that uh, Oriolensis isn't bleeding. He does bleed quite a bit in these matches. <laughs> he does indeed. 
Oh, but he baited him in on the ropes there. Got himself the advantage. Can he take advantage of it? That was a bad sentence. It sure was, Gorilla. And he sure can. Look at this. Oh, oh the wizard sleeve, folks. <laughs> Setting it up. He's going to drive that elbow down right into the gut and the pin. That could do it. We've seen this end matches before. Yes. And it does. Oriolensis, just like that, taking out Matt Storm. Wowie. Oh, he's going to hit him again. Got a oh, match wow. on Sunday. He's going to let him have it. Wow, absolutely brutal. Um, oh, wait, sorry, there's a bit of a... There's some problems here. A uh, bit of technical issues. Sorry, wait a... Wait, what's, this, what's this happening here? Last week, we got to hear all about how assets can make incredible excuses for their previous failing. While they were running their mouths backstage, Moritim and I were out in the ring kicking asses and taking balls. Damn right, cocky. Three-time champs just means that they are three-time losers. So we went straight to the source, Teresa Mame, and we made our case. And wouldn't you know it, Teresa Mame likes to watch a bit of testicular torture in her spare time, too. So it sounds like Breaking Wind actually has something to worry about beyond being two cosplaying shitters. This Sunday at WrestleMania, the two heads titles are up for grabs in a three-way TLC match. And we'll end that match by reaching out and grabbing those two dangling titles above that ladder. But it won't be the only thing we're grabbing. Come Sunday, we're gonna eat your fucking balls, Breaking Storm and Das Hots. We're gonna walk away with full bellies and the gold around our waists. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, it looks like all of a sudden what we thought we had was a two-on-two -two traditional tag match has now become a three-way TLC match thanks to Teresa Mame and the backstage lobbying of Cock and Ball Torture. And they're coming Sunday night to WrestleMania to eat some fucking balls. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> also, Glorious. Jim, uh, I believe one of my sources, I, 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 you know, one of my visual aid sources has just sent you another video uh, that we should probably air later, later on in the evening. You should have a look. Oh, wow. I can't actually do it because it will be twisted around or something. So we okay. needed that. Before. Yeah, I just got it too. Don't worry about it then. We'll wait. We'll wait on that one. We'll let's on just Friday. say, uh, yeah. Let's just say I've got a. I I I I've been doing my own scouting on uh, on certain opponents <laughs> and certain avian pieces of crap. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll just we'll save that for later. Yeah. Glorious. Um, and good day, cocky. <laughs> Glorious, glorious promo there. Cocky getting himself into that title mix again. Could that that two heads title go to Cock and Ball Torture, but making them two time champs? Or will Breaking Storm somehow find a way to win a, a, a ladder match? <laughs> it doesn't seem like the best option, but I do, you know, you know, you gotta believe Matt Storm just showed he can fly. Absolutely, yeah, Matt Storm, um, and you know, and it, is, it has been historically the weakness of Cock and Ball Torture has been the ladder match, so that's going to not be that easy for them, so it's going to be very interesting. Fly like an eagle. <laughs> Fly like a seagull. CBT will be there to eat some balls. <laughs> Lean Gary! <laughs> I can't do the fight. <laughs> it's brilliant though. 
And there he is, the weird-ass cowboy. He always has a little bit of a different swagger when he doesn't get summoned in. Makes yeah. you gotta. He makes you wonder just a little bit what uh, <laughs> what's going on. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if you got like summoned somewhere, you know, and you you were taken away from where you were, who knows what it does to like your atoms and stuff? If he's even the same person after he's uh, been summoned. Fair enough, isn't it? All right, folks, here we go. The other half of what is now a triple threat TLC match. So two thirds, whatever you want to call it. Oh, God, he hurt his knee on his gut there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big gut, to be fair. Yeah, so uh, as I got to tell you, I got to tell you, Jimmy Ventura, as I was uh, setting up my own training regimen to prepare for my... Uh, my next wrestling match after my last amazing match against you, no less, uh, yeah. at Survivor Series, uh, I uh, I decided to scout the opponent just a little bit and uh, see uh, see how his training goes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna link that I'm gonna link that right now in chat for everyone. That's about that's what I'm up against this uh, this Sunday. Somehow <laughs> somehow I think my job is perfectly secure. <laughs> Oh boy, we, we'll play that on uh, we'll play that on Friday as well, but can't do it with no warning, sadly. No, oh, brutal. <laughs> yeah. This is why this is why I can talk as my I can talk to Big Talk even though I've got one professional wrestling match in my history. I'm pretty sure I'll be fine, folks. <laughs> yeah. yeah, looking at that, that looks <laughs> pretty good for you. <laughs> Uh, Elp, Elp, I'm a master of light and shadow. You should know that by now. I can get any video at any time. <laughs> oh, oh, look, look at that. this by Breaking Dad. Huge slam there. Yeah, it looks like the Big Dave slam, didn't it? Incredible. Yeah, a little bit. It didn't quite look like an accident, though. <laughs> no, so no, it no. Similar. It wasn't the exact Dave <laughs> slam. Oh, no. Similar to the Dave slam. <laughs> <laughs> but not quite as <laughs> yeah not quite as accidental <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> oh, well man. it's possible it's possible uh mr jims mcmahon would have exploded with rage uh over <laughs> over uh illegal use of uh intellectual property like that but uh, I'm not hearing anything from him right now, Elp, so I think we're fine. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, Lean Gary looking to go top rope. Nope, thought better of it. <laughs> <laughs> i got to say, this past week or so has been pretty nice, hasn't it? Not having Mr. Jim McMahon screaming in our ear nonstop <laughs> the entirety of each show. <laughs> uh, could not agree more. It's nice to cut loose a little bit. Teresa Mame, very hands off. I mean, she's got her hands full with testicular, <laughs> testicular yeah, claws. Yeah, appar apparently. You know, you never know. <laughs> oh. oh, the super kick. He almost got it up to his chin. There's the pin. That could have stunned Lean Gary. Oof. Two count kick out again. Unbelievable. And he stomps away on that arm, looking to... Uh, Looking at damage. Oh no! Oh, 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 oh. Crushing the sternum there. Does he fall on him for the pin? He does. Took a little while though. Yeah, he might have waited too long. Oof. Oh, oh. Yeah, if he'd gotten that pin in sooner, I think he had the three count and the win there. Yeah, and that would have been nice for them to split. Some big boos coming in, I think. <laughs> yeah, the glorious upskirt. Lean Gary now just savaging him down with some punches. <laughs> he's got it. He's just got, he just punched him out, and look at that. Bad look for breaking storm. 
coming into uh, WrestleMania with a big back-to-back -back losses. But again, they're a tag team, not singles competitors. So. Wow. Gullible. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it. Breaking storm has fallen. And uh, Doss Hat's looking up, but... Both of those guys better be watching their ass. Sorry, watching their testicles because <laughs> CBT is on the prowl now. They have been added in triple threat TLC match only at WrestleMania Sunday for 8 p.m. UTC. Glorious. Here is your winner. I'm just going to start saying GST for Gorilla Standard Time. <laughs> the opening video is pretty incredible yeah 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 i wish we'd planned that uh, planned that a little earlier sorry i couldn't have gotten my sources to get it to you sooner but yeah, but let's let's not split hairs here elf does not need that much fucking focus or tv time <laughs> because he's gonna be out of a job in less than six days oh boy Next up, we've got some plim plom plus weight action for you. <laughs> oh, but, well, Bezel agrees to GST, so <laughs> I think we are now officially going to be on GST. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the plim plom plus weights again, folks. We do not know exactly what their match is going to be. Everyone vying to get a shot at those vacated titles. We will find out, I'm sure, very soon what that match will be. And uh, I'm sure it's going to be a good one. The Plim Plom Pluserweights never disappoint. Absolutely. <laughs> Help. Oh, Just quietly. <laughs> <laughs> Get mad and stay mad, Elf. Yeah, and see. Get uh, mad and stay um, mad. You better fucking bring it, is all I'm gonna say. <laughs> oh my god, LeBred Mask, he is not Look. a human sacrifice. <laughs> Here yeah. he is. Is that his music? No, we know, we know. Jim's McMahon apparently died to save LeBred Mask. He has <laughs> finally returned. No word of his relationship with Flicky Flack. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Mr. Jim McMahon died for the bread mask sins. <laughs> Shut up, Antsy. It's not like we're the first wrestling promotion to drop a storyline cold turkey. <laughs> oh, boy. Plim Plum Plue. There he is. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> And wouldn't it be something if he were to get a shot at the Plim Plom Pluserweight title? Of course, the original Plim Plom Pluserweight himself, Ansi, er, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <Red Mask>. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was reading Ansi's name there. <laughs> and hey, it's Geeks Wargaming, the Globetrotter. Haven't seen him in a while. Geeks is back. <laughs> the Globetrotter, I like that. That should be his finish for the Globetrotter. <laughs> Well, it can be, because none of us know the name of his finisher or even know what he does for a finisher. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, man. They really have them. I don't know, Steve Motti. <laughs> I, I don't even pay attention to the WWE anymore. No, I don't. The only thing I pay attention to is what pay-per-views they're running so we can rip them off <laughs> yeah and that's only Ooh. because jim makes me i don't even want to run their pay-per-views usually <laughs> yeah i don't know i don't know but I like oh it. is he oh god is he really antsy <laughs> oh, no. i don't know i mean i believe i believe he is nigerian but like he's american <laughs> yeah so woo 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 woof back Oh boy! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh boy! Not Gorilla's favorite wrestler. 
<laughs> well, Skuro seems, Skuro skiing seems okay with them. Skuro also got to beat the living shit out of him in a, the first week of the, the Skuro Metso High Intensity Tournament, though, so, you know. <laughs> yep. Oh, dear. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, baby, I think I know who's next. <laughs> yep. Dancing his way into our very hearts. Former Blim Blum Blues Away champion, Elliot. <laughs> oh, it should be at Rowdy Ball section. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good, Bessel. That's a good future tag team. <laughs> that is amazing, yeah. That is amazing. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh man akeem the african dream i still see that dude dancing in my nightmares <laughs> oh, <fancy. sighs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Four-way extreme elimination. The most traditional JFW Plim Plum Plus Weight match we have. And it's going to be a wild one. Some great competitors along with Geeks and Woof. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Oh, nice snapmare there by, or excuse me, Dragon Screw by Lebred Mask as he takes on Woof Bark. Geeks war game and getting oh picked up and maybe no he wriggles out of it and into that nice jumping DDT on to Elliot. <laughs> yeah, Elliot can't deny his Irish roots, can he? <laughs> he's had his breaking bad, you know, stage, but uh, phase that's the one. But he's you know he's ultimately at his heart he's a leprechaun, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> In his heart of hearts, he's a leprechaun. <laughs> oh, Geeks Wargaming either looking for a weapon or looking to hide under the ring, given his past. No, he's got a baseball bat. Oh, he missed! Oh, oh he missed! Thank Christ he did. He would have... Oh! Oh! <laughs> he didn't miss that time. Fucking brained him. Elliot just shrugged it off. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Looked like Elliot was on his way out there, but uh, he <laughs> I thought, thought he was about to die. He just kind of <laughs> kept fighting. Yeah. And the pin here on Geeks, very hopeful. Yeah, not even a one count. Incredibly hopeful. Oh, dear. Hello, Randy Tanner. <laughs> yeah, nod his head. Yeah, you got you to gotta know you don't hit a Blood Bowl player in the head. <laughs> Uh, mystery yeah, first match. Up. Oh, sorry. R mystery first match was an eight-man rumble. Yep, it was, it was a uh, eight-man rumble that Skuramezza won, and all eight men were announced to be part of a twenty-man Royal Rumble, the Jimps Memorial Rumble, this Sun or Saturday, eight p.m. UTC. That's four p.m. GST. <laughs> yeah. 9 p.m. UK time is the time that every <laughs> JFW show will be on. <laughs> Elliot getting savaged by weapons today. Again, <laughs> shrugging it off, more or less. Oh, God, he's not going to shrug oh, that off. Oh, he ain't going to shrug that <laughs> off, yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. Brutal. <laughs> oh, Tom Schnitz. Elliot caught all of that. Brutal. Sure did. Look at Geeks going to town on And inside the here. ring there, uh, at the ASPCA going to be banging on Geeks' door <laughs> yeah. as he abuses this dog. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he just smashed up the thing again. <laughs> the ring post. Oh, my God. 
Elliot could be seriously hurt here. Need to get the EMTs in. <laughs> Getting helped. Oh wow, somehow Elliot getting back into it there. Oh, incredible power bomb from Geeks. <laughs> he pops a squat. <laughs> Is he farting in his face or what? <laughs> oh my god, Elliot totally Elliot. missed. <laughs> Yeah, Elliot missing all three other opponents somehow. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he's almost <laughs> certainly got a concussion. <laughs> yeah, he did take a baseball back directly to the dome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he connected that time. LBM in some trouble. Rolls out of the ring wisely. And uh, looks like everyone's going to forget about LeBred Mask. <laughs> Oh, busted open. <laughs> oh, no, well, well, finally the dome has cracked. Elliot <laughs> looks to be bleeding a little bit from the forehead there. Yeah, this is and looking Geeks real Wargaming, good. what a show from a guy who does not get a lot of matches in the JFW. <laughs> Doesn't get a three count there. <laughs> oh, the self-rock bottom. We've seen that in matches before. <laughs> that could do it for Wolfbark. Oh, he's got him. And he's it does, him. yep. LeBred Mask patented. A lot of people go to that move. No one does it like LeBred Mask. Usually cuts blood on those, too. He does, yeah. Oh, Whoa. this is going to fail. This is not going to go well for LeBred Mask. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I saw that one coming a mile away. <laughs> oh, dear. It looks real bad now. Oh, oh look out. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> he just Spiked his head on the top turnbuckle. Incredible. LeBred Mask popped out of that one like he was a piece of toast in a toaster. <laughs> and, oh, oh, there it is. The Globe Trotter. Geeks <laughs> Wargaming doesn't go for the pin. Oh, Oops. dear. What a dickhead. <laughs> well, he might think he could pin them both here, though. Oh, wow. He might have a shot. Geeks! Geeks turning it on! He's got him! He's got him! He pinned the bread mask! <laughs> Whoa! Incredible. And here's Elliot. Nice blue thunder bomb. Oh, where's he going? Looking for something dangerous. There's a baseball bat in the fucking ring, though. <laughs> he wants a table! Table! <laughs> Zero percent chance that table gets used. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this game is so dumb sometimes. Yep. Oh! Oh! Haluba kick! Oh, he did! He fell right on the <laughs> table. On the that table. counts as using it. Yeah. And the pin! That's gotta do it! Oh! No! Geeks kick it out! You know, Geeks taking advantage of his limited exposure, really <laughs> trying to get something going, make a case. But it's probably a long shot that he should get a title shot on Sunday. Oof. Oh my goodness, look at this! Sit oh down man. powerbomb hangs on for the pin. Ref was caught off guard. Oof. Two count kick out. I think if the ref had been quicker, that might have been a Geeks Wargaming win. Maybe. <laughs> Oh, look at that! Incredible! <laughs> wow, what a vertical by, <laughs> by, by um, Elliot there. Must have taken leap. <laughs> he must have. Chat told him to, and here we go. <laughs> Spiking those elbows right into the top Oof. of the head. That's not going to feel good for Geeks Wargaming. Absolutely not. Oh, look at this submission. Oh, Geek's out. able to get out of it. <laughs> oh, trying to, try to pop a squat there, I think. Side oh. suplex, and now Geeks is rolling. He might have the win here. Oh, my. God, he really does. He's got him. Oh. No, two and a half cow kick out. Elliot's still in this, but he's got to get something going, and that's one way to do it. 
quick elbow to the gut. Elliott back to a vertical base. And look at this. Look out. Blue Thunder Bomb hangs on. No, it doesn't hang on for the pin. He's just going to pin him again. him over. Can he get him? <laughs> Two count again. He had to hook that leg off the Blue Thunder Bomb, and he had him. Oh, self rock bottom. Oh, Elf Rock bought him in. Oh, my goodness, into that nasty submission. Will he tap? Geeks hanging on for dear life here. Able oh. to s somehow get out of that and break the hold. Oh, with a classic oh. pin after the yep. submission. <laughs> JFW classic. Oh, he kicks out. Two count kick out again. Geeks still alive. Oh, my God. Oh, he just misses the stone. <laughs> he just misses the stone. He gets kicked in the head. Oh, another globe trotter. Geeks is gonna win this. He's gonna win it, yeah. Geeks is gonna win this. <laughs> He's done it! Geeks Wargaming has won! Shocking oh the world, folks! Geeks Wargaming! Could he have punched his ticket to WrestleMania? Probably not. <laughs> but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. And folks, I am being told we are about to make the announcement of what the Plim Plom Pluserweight match will be. So many people to decide from what two men are going to be competing for that belt. Jim, you got a graphic for us. I do, yeah. Get ready for this. This is massive news. This is unbelievable. This is never seen before in the likes of lesser promotions. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Plim Plum Pluserweight Championship will be decided at WrestleMania in the Elimination oh. Chamber. An Elimination Chamber match at WrestleMania for the Plim Plum Pluserway title, folks. If you aren't aware of what that is, a few months ago we had the pay-per-view. Six-man elimination match. Two men start in the ring. Four men start in pods outside of the ring. And every minute, another, or every two minutes, I believe, another pod opens until there's only one person left standing. And we don't know what six men are going to be in that match. But it should be epic. Absolutely, yeah. That is that is absolutely fan dozy isn't it? It sure is. And folks, now it's time for the Wem Dope Open Challenge. Jimmy Fantastic taking on Dimmy Fan Not Tastic. <laughs> Dimmy yeah, fucking G. Yeah, Dimmy G. Will Demi G break all of our plans for WrestleMania? Um, I, I well, I uh, yeah, no, no, he <laughs> didn't. <laughs> we'll find out. Dimmy. Can Demi beat the champ and get the title? Here he is. Demi. Ergonomic amaranth as well. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> Give me a chair. No, that's a good point. That's a good point, PC. I mean, Jimmy can't beat a chair, PC. <laughs> Despite his chair, his bald chairproof claim. Bezel always is. Bezel is is god tier chatter. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, especially in CCL general. <laughs> if you're a Discord person, he's the best thing about Blood Bowl 2 Discord. Oh boy. And here he is, Mr. Fantastic himself, the glorious one. Your Wemdope champion, Jimmy Fantastic. He has defended this title every single show since winning it, and he's been successful every time. That is a hell of a champion. Say what you will about Jimmy Min Max Tastic and his past, which is 
borderline at worst, at best, whatever. Uh, whatever. He's a fighting champ, and he he has aims to go to WrestleMania and put and dot the exclamation point on this open challenge run of his. Absolutely glorious. <laughs> That's true, Bezel. That's true, but still, Bezel is absolute top tier. Brilliant. <laughs> Mr. Freeman, no. <laughs> no, he won't. <laughs> because unlike Amaranth, I obey the law. <laughs> the web dope screw job. I don't know what you're talking about, Cocky. <laughs> Bask in it. It's Jimmy Fantastic and the Wem Dub title, the prettiest belt in professional wrestling. Absolutely. It's uh yes, yeah, Stor Stor has clearly watched a Jimmy Fantastic <laughs> match or two in his day. That is his uh <laughs> that is his uh, technique. Get his ass kicked, hit the gym bottom, and call it a day. <laughs> yep. Whoa. Oh, well, looks like he doesn't want to start off like that against Dimmy fucking G. Good, uh, good night, maybe. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, dear. Dimmy. Oh, electric chair drop. Beautiful. Yeah, it looks like, looks like Jimmy might be taking out a little bit of, uh, a little bit of the frustration built on trying to be uh, dual imposters with Demi G, getting himself <laughs> outed in the first two rounds pretty much consistently. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, that was a. Uh, it was a. It was a. It was a good try. It was a good game that one actually, wasn't it? it was a Battling against all the odds after being let down by Dimmy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, having to team up with Dimmy is physically against all the odds. That is true, yes. <laughs> the most dice man in the JFW. <laughs> oh, dear. But uh, spe speaking uh, nothing of the thrashing he's giving Jimmy Fantastic right now after Jimmy's hot start, Champ's mm -hmm. going to have to get something going or that's going to ruin his plans for this uh, this uh, Sunday. Oh, <laughs> what a right hand from <laughs> Jimmy. Stiff right, yeah, stiff right hook. Illegal punch in a lot of federations, including this one. Ref letting him play. <laughs> oh Jimmy. Oh, oh Jim. Jim coming up empty on the first one. <laughs> oh, he kicked him right in the ass. <laughs> I'm being hit by Oh, the fantastic oh, splash. Look out! Ultimate splash. Or fantastic splash, whatever you want to call it. And the pin! Oh. Oh, I thought he had him! <laughs> Two cow kick out. Dimmy's still in it. Hasn't been rock bottomed yet. Jim bottomed yet. Oh, well, here we go. Speaking of, <laughs> this might end it for Dimmy. Fantastic. <laughs> See you later, mate. Jim bottom. And oh. sure enough, exclamation point versus Jim Dim. <laughs> One zero zero. <laughs> Wonderful. The Wemdope champion retaining here, folks. He's going to wrestle. Oh, look at this. Maybe Dimmy. Dimmy wanted a little love here, maybe. Well, they are bum buddies in Among Us a lot of the time. Jimmy just showing uh, showing a bit of deference to the champ. He has been on an absolute tear. Not sure what could stop him. And uh, Monday Night Claw is going to 
Roll on. Uh, oh, I should have made the graphic with with them thinking it was made, but never mind. Uh, oh, I'll just put the, I'll just put the screen on the loading yeah. screen. Next up, folks, it was announced earlier. EAB and Rick Reckless will have to team up. They have themselves a 20-minute Ironman match for the Extra Arms Belt Championship on Sunday. They're going to have to team up tonight, not just against anyone. They're going to have to team up against the world heavyweight champion and Gengar. That's six feet down under versus Rick and EAB. <laughs> oh, boy. The week suspension, I think the authorities didn't find anything conclusive linking Night Demon to it, so uh, that's why he's back and he's, uh, he's active. It's absolutely fine. Yeah, you know, you can't just arrest someone based on admission of guilt, I guess. So... Yeah, yeah, you need evidence, don't you? That's the, the, that Indeed, and, the and we, we were told Jim's body, Jim's body was never, was never recovered, so there's really not much to go on here. Yeah. I don't run this show up. Oh boy. Oh. EAP. What a monster. <laughs> Absolutely. There he is, your extra arms belt champion. He will be part, and of course, it's a man of iron. He will be part of an Iron Man match, 20 minute, all pinfalls and submissions count for points. Whoever has the most by the end will win that belt around his waist. And uh, you gotta believe that format uh, kind of favors the big brawler EAB, who just does not take damage like a normal mortal because he is no mere mortal. He is the greatest bot in Blood Bowl and professional wrestling history. <laughs> Absolutely. Extra arms bot. What a legend. Can he and Rick Reckless play nice tonight? They've got such a big match. you got to believe the motions could boil over. We've seen this happen with uh, more established teams than Rick Reckless and EAB. But Rick's a good guy. He can get along with pretty much anyone. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He has, his, he has his extra arms tied behind his back to make it fair. <laughs> <laughs> Rick is risen. I'm rising a little bit looking at him. <laughs> oh, baby. Is that sacrilegious enough for you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's not just the damage taken as well. It's like Rick getting tired as well, isn't it? It's just going to be, how can he possibly, like, you know, he's... A, EAB's a, a robot, isn't he? He's not going to get tired. He's not going to take the same amount of damage. This is going to be... It's basically... Oh, it seems like God. an impossible task for Rick, for Rick, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Sure does. It sure does. I mean, a lot of impossible tax, ta tasks on the menu this Sunday. Of course, Rick Reckless lasting 20 minutes against the 700-pound robot being one of them. You know, a fucking drunken ass seagull trying to not embarrass itself in the ring against me, the greatest announcer in wrestling history, and uh, I'm going to prove on Sunday a pretty goddamn good wrestler as well. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'd fire both. I don't know why you'd want to keep one of them. But yeah, not strength two. You can't keep strength two. And yeah, he's the world champ, isn't he, uh, Night Demon? Sure is. And it'll be six feet down and uh, versus the Unnatural Snackers three on three. And the winner of that match will get that title. It'll either be Night Demon or Johnny Five walking away with the, with the World Heavyweight Gold. Yep. Oh, Jesus, PCI, I misread that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you were talking about Mark Twain for a minute there. Oh dear. For the benefit of people <laughs> on YouTube. 
They're talking about Blood Bowl. <laughs> oh, Don't yeah. Ban me. <laughs> Don't ban me. This is to do with Blood Bowl. Don't ban me. Any uh, Twitch or YouTube yeah. or anybody. <laughs> I <laughs> just, I, I shouldn't have said anything. I just misread it and got really shocked for a minute there. <laughs> it's only a bad word to use if you use it with a uh, nod and a wink, like certain uh, fascist wannabe pieces of crap. Yes. And oh. here we go, the two champs starting in the ring here, Night Demon flattening EAB. For <laughs> once, PC. Yeah, no, actually no, you're good. You're, you're totally, screen. you are totally fine, PC. Just caught me off guard with a live mic for a minute there. <laughs> <laughs> really shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> PC for once actually looking at what he was typing. <laughs> 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 and here we go. The size may be coming back into things. And there it is. Look at that attack oh, wow. to Rick Reckless. So far, so good between these two. Oh, he couldn't lift Night Demon. Oh, boy. Oh, Night Demon's dense. He is, isn't he? Nice uh, whirly gig there on the uh, suplex. Night Demon and Rick, that would be a hell of a one-on-one -on -one match. I gotta be gotta believe yeah. they could put they could main event at WrestleMania or any any pay-per-view. <laughs> Absolutely. Woo! <laughs> Oof. Somehow. Rick taking it to Night Demon now, and just like that, Rick getting fired up. He's looking forward to the main event of WrestleMania. Been a long road for him uh, since coming back and surprise winning the Royal Rumble. And the man in his corner tonight will be his opponent. Yeah, that epic journey to... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> to remove yeah. the taint. <laughs> yeah, that that will someday be finished. Someday. <laughs> I figure at any point where I'm sick of doing it, I can just have them ride the eagles to Mordor and save it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but I want to once once we once I have some free time, I'll finish it up. Glorious. Getting close, folks. I'm getting real close to finishing that project that's making my life hell. Woo. I don't mean the JFW, because I ain't going anywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. Elp is no fucking chance of beating me on Sunday. I oh, my God. Look oh, at look this. at this. Look at this teamwork. <laughs> and that's how you know the pedigree of these two champs working together. Oh, Six boy. episodes in a movie, yeah. Pretty much, J5. <laughs> This Gengar versus the EAB, two absolute giants. Oof. Doesn't knock him down, though. Oh, oh look at this. Bouncing off. Wow, Gengar is a big, big Tomb Guardian. That's for damn sure. But he's no extra arms bot. <laughs> that oh. all afternoon? Uh, EAB needs to stop uh, using his, uh, his, extra, his excess RAM to tweet at the JFW universe because he just missed wildly with a punch there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, good lord. And now preventing the tag out to Gengar and just putting all his weight on him. Oh, <laughs> Got a load of dog in. You can imagine Rick being on the sideline here going, Woo, flip me, guys! <laughs> this is a great opportunity to team up with a killer robot. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo. laughs> yeah, EAV is like, yeah, that's, that is pretty much what it's like, yeah. <laughs> Naked EAV. <laughs> But they haven't had any problems working together, have they, EAB and Rick? No, certainly not. I mean, again, you know, both these guys are champions. You know, 
purest of heart champions, even though one of them probably doesn't actually have a heart. <laughs> so they want to get a win. They want to both go in standing tall. They don't want to be the reason the other one is, uh, you know, looking bad coming into Sunday night. It's true. One of them knows no pity or remorse and will just kill you and put your head in the freezer. And the other one is EAB. <laughs> well, I was going to say, it takes a hell of a lot to make Rick Reckless think negatively. <laughs> <laughs> Flip me, guys. We might have lost that match, but it was just an opportunity to be in the ring with my friends. So, <laughs> Yep. Maybe, maybe Tom Schnitz. <laughs> Who knows, Flux Streamer? Who knows? <laughs> Oof. Oh, Gengar gets out, gets Night Demon in. Yeah. <laughs> and here comes Night Demon again, champ on champ. That's how we started the match. Oh, Night Demon able to get out of that one. And again. And now he's just bouncing off of EAB <laughs> twice now. Oh, the third time's a oh, charm. He, he just right bounces up right onto his feet. Wow. Right onto his feet. And that is the difference in size between those two champions. Oh, incredible. Tags in. Rick Reckless going to get himself a little bit of a breather, even though he doesn't breathe. And now Rick in on Night Demon. God, that's actually brilliant, Cocky. <laughs> yeah, that's that that's what this show needs is Jimmy having to do more voiceovers. <laughs> Yes, uh, yes. Yes. And Night Demon here getting the advantage on Rick Reckless. Can the wannabe champ come back? And it looks like he can. <sighs> oh, look out, EAB. <laughs> Maybe he didn't seem too concerned about Rick there. No, Rick getting tossed Probably. off by a zombie. Yeah. Oh, look out. Look out, Rick. Oh, no. Oh. Powerbomb onto the concrete. EAV just watching. <laughs> oh, Rick oh. telling him what for. Double axe handle takes him down. Oh, we're in the danger zone here. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There we go. We're good now. Oh, no. Mm, oh, boy. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fitting? Yep. Oof. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Looks good now, yeah. Oh, Rick busted open. Indeed, Rick. Oh, no, and the zombie coming. I think this is the first finish of the match, isn't it? Unbelievable. It is, yep. Yeah. Zombie, here comes EAB. He does want the win, folks. <laughs> oh, referee destroyed. Not content to just let the uh, humiliation of Rick getting the pin. <laughs> he wants the win. EAB breaking that one up. <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs> oh, dear. Ori Lenz is levitating. Is one of the best moments, wasn't it? Yeah, it sure was. He's got him. Oh. No, two count kick out. Rick's made a tougher stuff than that. EAB is not up on the apron to help Rick out, though. No. Now Rick has to be thinking about Sunday, though. Oh, zombie. And there it is, another zombie. Oh, oh EAB from <laughs> Downtown somehow Holy broke shit. that pin up. Look Holy at Night Demon. Shit. Look at Night Demon. He's gonna drop him right on Rick, maybe. 
Oh my <laughs> god, the power of Night Demon. Yeah, this game definitely uh, pays attention to strength ratings. Yeah. A third zombie to Rick! <laughs> oh. And he kicked out again! <laughs> Can you believe it, Rick Reckless, not to be denied? EAB nowhere to be found, and look out, Rick. Oof. I team even grabbing a little snack there. <laughs> oh, fuck off, man. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh god. Rick is taking all the damage. EAB just hanging out outside the ring now. And now you gotta think maybe it's a little uh a little uh suspect. <laughs> oh, here comes Rick though fighting back. Yeah. Oh, we like to boo we like to boo uh Night Demon's comeback because it's John Cena's comeback and it's stupid as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> With Teresa and Chindo. Oh my god. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. <laughs> what the fuck is cocky smoking today? <laughs> I want one. Oh god, I bet Fall Falls would give me about £100 if I threw that. <laughs> yeah. Fall Falls is jumping the <laughs> Dangerous so moment here. We're up to an eight count. Rick oh, down and out. This could be a count out, folks. It is. Surely. Rick is not getting up. And that's going to do it, folks. Six feet oh, down under. Winning, content to win by count out. And EAB might be overselling his interest in helping Rick in that one over in the corner there. EAB just got the crap, or excuse me, Rick just got the crap kicked out of him. He did, and, yeah. And uh, he's going to have to carry that loss into WrestleMania. That's a bad loss. Yeah. And, uh, and obviously six feet down, undertaking the winning as well, looking at unstoppable, unbelievable performance from that Absolutely, taking down yeah. the extra armors belt champion and the Royal Rumble winner. Unbelievable. <laughs> I wonder why I answered. <laughs> and folks, that is going to do it. Six feet down under, standing tall in the win tonight. Night Demon, after a week absence, is back. Look out, Unnatural Snackers, because six feet down under are ready for WrestleMania. And folks, so am I. We've got six days to go. I'll see you all on Friday for Stand Firm for the final show before a wild weekend. For, uh, 8 p.m. UTC Saturday, 8 p.m. UTC Sunday for WrestleMania. See you shitters then. <laughs> Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.